Hey what's up guys Martin Unix here. Welcome guys to another amazing tutorial. Guys today we are going to do dreadlocks maintenance. I'm going to touch more on dreadlocks maintenance. That is guys we are going to do a retwist. But uh, I will be touching more on the technicalities that are involved whenever you want to maintain your locks to a healthy lock strands. So welcome guys. All right, welcome guys. This is the state of my lock strands. Guys, we are going to do a retwist, and uh, as you can see, the growth is quite wanting in a way that uh, my client and you know taken longer time before doing the retwist. You need to know ways or how you can overcome some you know some challenges that you might find whenever you are doing your retwist. And uh, looking closely, guys, you realize that uh, some of the strands are thinning. Guys, you can have a look on this strand here. This strand here is thinning, so it's almost breaking. Now, guys, I'm going to take you through the, you know, the repair process, how you are going to repair such portion, as well as managing the in growths. Guys, having a look on the scalp service, you realize that uh, we have lots of in growths. This is a result of uh, strands of hair breaking from the main log strand. And why? The breakages might be as a result of tension on the scalp service it's a new client to me what i've just noted and uh, my hand advice to many of you is that uh, my client has been using a cape for quite a longer time so whenever you use cape this is what we are talking about guys whenever you use this i'm not saying it's bad to use it but uh, it's my hand advice uh, to limit the usage of this so that you can protect your hair and maintain a healthy log strands. How does the cave affect your log strands? The cave offers a conducive environment for the hair strands in a way that uh, whenever you close the, the log strands inside the cave, the hair is not exposed to the atmosphere. That way guys, now you realize that uh, you have reduced the polarity which is the, uh, the ability of the hair to absorb moisture naturally from the atmosphere. And your hair becomes weak since that uh, your hair is not getting the, the required nutrients as well as, you know, getting the right maintenance. I'm going to touch more on how you can repair such loose hair strands from the scalp service and means on how you can maintain a nice look as time goes by. So let's begin by the retwist. And if you can have a look on the side, some of the log strands have uh, fallen off. So guys, we are going to attach a log strand at this particular area. I'm going to use a log strand to manage the length of this portion here. Remember this log strand here and just fallen off and my client doesn't know where it is. So I'm just going to pick one of the strands from this portion here. I will just look closely at the scalp surface and you will realize that uh, lots of log strands at this particular area are thinning on the scalp surface. So I'm going to pick one of the log strands. Just pick it guys. I'm just going to cut it off that way. So I'm going to use this to graft on this area. Whereas the remaining portion, I'm going to spread it to the rest of the log strands. So let's begin by grafting this area. So after picking the loose log strands, which are of the main log strand from the roots, guys, this is what you usually come up with, you see. So now, guys, I'm going to introduce a new technique. And my new technique is that uh, I'm going to use a crochet latch to to draw up the hair strands around the main strand. That way guys I will be doing crochet wrapping in a way that uh, I will be picking the, the hair strands inserting them through the main log strand that way along the length of the dreadlock that way all the way back until the length 
is done that way guys all the way to the back can have a look guys now i've just attached the hair strands which were falling loose on the scalp surface you see my crochet latch down the length of the log strand now guys i'm just going to do some interlocks at the bottom that way just to affirm the attached hair strands and uh, for more tutorials on how to do the this kind of interlocks guys i've gave a tutorial there, there before and remember that uh, when the interlocks are done right guys they don't cause lumps you can have a look guys here i've just done some interlocks but can you see or can you can you not any interlocks no there's a way or not to do the interlocks if you do the interlocks wrongly guys you're going to cause uh, lumps on your lock strands so let's do the retwist just going to apply some little amount of gel you can have a look very small amount why to avoid causing build-ups on our lock stones as we as we await the next retwist we need to avoid using lots of gel so as not to come up with lint on our lock stones so let's do this portion remember guys we also need to do some parting just to, al to, to align our log swans a little bit that way just pick the log swans to certain length then you can just cut off some of the log swans you might not come up with clean parting guys but uh, try as much as possible and align your log strands in a way that way. You can, you can have a look guys, now we have just created a certain pattern. So let's do this portion here. So guys, these are the loose hair strands which we have just found on the scalp service. So remember guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my work, comment and share to your friends. You can as well guys join membership as a way of supporting the channel. That way, just pick the loose hair strands using your crochet latch to do the crochet wrapping. Remember guys on my previous tutorial, I showed you on how to use the crochet hook whereby guys we used the 0.5 mm. This is the 0.5 mm. This is the crochet hook. Today, guys, we are using the crochet latch. You can have a look. We just tuck in the hair strands, which seems to be lying loose on the scalp surface along the length of the log strand all the way down until such strands are done. That way, all the way down. And you can have a look guys how the strands are already attached to the main lock strand now i'm just gonna do the interlocks somehow to affirm the hair strands which have just attached to the main strand that way now we are going to do the retwist as usual guys we are using comb coil technique and this is the gel which i usually use guys you can have a look so I'm just picking small amount, very small amount guys, just to avoid creating build-ups on our log strands. That way. Just do the retwist. Make sure you do you create a knot at the bottom so that the log strand does not unravel. This is the log strand guys which you are going to attach on this particular area. To begin with, guys, we are just going to comb. How do we do the comping? Guys, use a pointed tool which doesn't uh, have any hook at the end. Slowly pick the hair strands as you move backwards. That way, guys. Remember that uh, whenever the hair locks creates certain micro loops, which needs to be undone with some 
some caution not to break the the hair stones you just need to pick the loops little by little that way now we are about to graft this particular strand on this area remember that uh, we are just saying that uh, this log strand and fallen off I don't know why but uh, since we are doing hair maintenance guys we are just doing some repairs and you have, you have just seen where I've just picked this uh, particular strand I just picked this particular strand from this portion at the center part now we are going to do the, the <coughs> now we are going to do the grafting so let's pick the hair strands from the scalp service that way guys you can use your crochet you can use this 0.5 mm or else guys you can as well use the double hooked 0.5 mm on our case we are just going to use this double hooked 0.5 mm to make a lock strand at this particular area you can as well guys do an interlock i don't know which way to to go but me i can go anyway you can use this crochet or we can use we can as well use the latchet hook this one on this case guys let's use the latchet hook this might be simpler for our beginners just use the latchet hook that way create uh, a barrier at this level so this means that uh, the air strands are, are formed at this particular area so that we can deal with these strands at this area with some business so let's attach the lock strands you can choose to divide the hair strand into two that way then you can as well choose to divide this portion into two that way try and make some rounds remember guys this is another way i'm just tr trying to show a way or now you can come up with a lock strand which is permanently grafted which can't fall off then try and do some crochet movements remember guys we have been talking about this method on my previous tutorials today i'll not be too much on this crochet hook guys you can revisit the channel for more tutorials on such after doing the crochet at this point guys you realize that uh, somehow our hair strands remains in place now you can pick the remaining portion and seal the point of intersection that way just try and seal the point of intersection then try and you know wrap the, the hair strands around in a certain manner then use your crochet to tangle the hair at the point of intersection guys now we have just done the the grafting you can have a look you can't closely note the point of intersection this is how smooth our lock strand looks like you can have a look guys and just to ascertain the firmness of our point of intersection we can try pulling the lock strand apart and you realize that uh, our lock strand remains intact so that way guys after doing some washes for over over the time guys the hair will tangle a little bit more and the lock strand will as well remain in position forever so let's do the retwist <coughs> so just apply small amount of gel at the roots then to your comb coils then you just palm roll that way creating that knot at the roots we are approaching the crown area this is our finishing area and if you are you can look closely the hair uh, seems to be lesser that is the hair seems to to be with less volume at the crown area that is uh, the 
as a result of you know the tendency of wearing the cave remember we said that uh, cave uh, affects uh, the hair at the crown area in that uh, it suffocates the hair so you should avoid wearing capes most of the time since it makes the hair you know hair strands to become weak and then we, uh, with the time guys the strands starts falling off the main strand you can have a look now these are the strands which are falling off the main strand now we are going to to uh, find a way or now we can attach these loose hair strands to the main strand so by doing so guys you just pick your hair strands which seems to be loose on the scalp surface use your professional tip to pick all the lock strands these are the hair strands which are of the main lock strand and to attach them to the to, to attach such hair strands to the main lock strand this is the way to go guys don't just grab them at this level pick your your main lock strand wrap it around at certain length from the roots to certain level that way just to to minimize the length of the affected part then to certain level guys now you can lay your lock strands that is your hair strands along with the lock strand pick your crochet hook on this case i'm using 0.5 mm try and make some crochet movements remember that uh, guys whenever you are doing this kind of crochet method usually create some micro loops which helps in tangling the hair more and more than by coming up with a lock strand that way guys just crochet the uh, hair strands which seemed to be loose on the scalp surface to position just crochet them into position that way so i've just done it a little bit and if you can have a, you can have a look guys the hair strands are already attached to the main strand that way remember guys there are so many ways on how to do the crochet method you can bring your way of doing it guys and we shall subscribe to that so this is my way of rectifying some of the errors that we come across whenever you're doing your blogs maintenance so guys remember to subscribe to my channel like my work comment and share to your friends you can as well guys support the channel by joining membership that way so now we are done at this level guys i'm just going to do some interlocks you see my crochet latch that way i'm gonna do two interlocks so that i can give my hair some breathing space at the roots at this level you find that uh, our lock strand is thinning at certain level from the scalp area so we need to fill this gap we, we, we need to fill this thinning point so and how do we go about it guys i'm just going to pick a healthy log strand like on my case just pluck out some hair strands that way some healthy hair strands then you can cut off some of those hair strands that way. Remember guys, this is another way of doing it. I just said that uh, there are so many ways of uh, maintaining your lock strands and you can come up with your own way of doing it. Guys, we shall subscribe to that. So you can fill this portion or else guys you can just fold this portion in place then you can crochet it at that point but since i'm avoiding to cause some lumps along the length of the log strand guys i'm just going to to attach my hair strands at the at, at the point where the log strands 
seems to be thinning. Then crochet such hair strands inside the log strand at the affected area that way. Let's try and see how it will come out. Guys, now we are done. You can have a look. Now the log strand looks like. Remember guys, we, ju we have just filled the gap where the log strand seems seemed to be thinning at this area. And now the area is well done. So the area is well done guys, you can have a look, that's how you can, these are some of the, technique, the techniques that uh, you are usually involved whenever you are doing the lock maintenance uh, means. So let's pick the hair strands which are as well seems to be loose on the scalp surface and reattach them to the main lock strand. Remember guys, if you don't do repairs on your log strands, you might end up losing such uh, log strands. So let's attach the loose hair to the main strand. Right, now guys, I've just uh, attached the loose hair strands which were lying on the scalp surface. So we are just going to do the retwist after creating a breather at the scalp area. Then you form roll, you form roll your lock strand in a clockwise manner, creating a knot at the at the base to prevent the lock strand from unwinding. Now, guys, when you look closely on the scalp surface, you might uh, come across some thin growths. That is, uh, this kind of hair strands, which seems to be on the scalp surface, are uh, as a result of breakages and uh, having the thin growths. Is a, is a nice sign of more hair to grow in the future. So you don't have to worry yourself, guys. You just need to maintain a nice hair maintenance routine. All right, guys, now we are done. And uh, the neatness of the log strands is truly amazing. And at the front area, guys, we have done a Cripsy lineup, which now brings another amazing look. To our lock transformation and uh, guys you just need to join me to our next tutorial as I show you on how to style this kind of lock stones remember guys we need to come up with a style which will as well protect our crown area because we need the hair to grow mm. try out the techniques which have been well stipulated in throughout my video you can as well guys share my work to your friends subscribe like and comment support the channel if you are able guys by joining membership thank you guys for choosing to support my channel by watching my content to the end i hope my tutorial guys was truly instructive and i will be bringing more tutorials guys which will be more informative to our beginners I kindly request you guys to share my work to your friends. Like my work, comment, and share to your friends. Guys, you can as well support the channel, guys, by joining membership. Thank you, guys, and stay locked for more tutorials to come.